Hi guys and welcome to the Seven Money Show with me, your host Sean. And this is what we're waiting for. But with it at fifteen twenty-five, uh, we can't expect it to be coming. We have to prepare for it by being okay to hold until the end of the year, possibly January latest. And if it the decision comes uh, in the next week or so, in the next few days, then it's all gravy. However, let's get on with the show. I'm going to talk about the good news and the bad news. Bad news first. Ford is unveiling, unveiling its electric transit delivery van on November the 12th. Now, it won't be ready for production until 2021 which is good news for us, but uh, they are unveiling one. As I said, you might want to pick up some full shares if you head to hedge. They're going heavy into electric now. But good news, if you think you're going to pick up a huge part of the contra a contract, you wouldn't be getting rid of so many staff like they are now. Oh, sorry about that. I'm drawing all over. The other thing is, I don't know if you saw it, Mad Money. The Jim Cramer said that a workhorse is just a show horse. You have people FOMOing over the SEC document. I spoke about it the other day and how it is they have to file a SEC document for they have to file an SEC document for the uh, loan notes otherwise when they come calling they won't be able to uh, supply them no the other thing if you saw Bazinga's interview, no offence Bazinga, but the audio was terrible for a pre-recorded interview. Yeah, you have experience of interviewing CFO, and it was terrible. They said, the good news, bad news part of that is that they said they could utilise Navistar's Ohio plant. Which was, funnily enough, never start getting f funding. It was also in that congressman's interview, but I didn't twig it at the time. And if you remember another thing mm. in there, if you look back to Workhorse Lake and TPI Composites, if you remember, I spoke said her. Uh, I concentrated more on Proterra and Workhorse, but they also deal with Navistar. Now, when t President TPI Composites didn't rule out uh, putting the sh shells, because these are the guys who put the shell of the Workhorse trucks together, when they didn't rule out putting shell the trucks together at another plant, I assumed it would be a workhorse plant. However, it could be that they're putting it together at Navistar's plant as well as their own. And possibly even uh, workhorse on top of that. They could be doing it multiple. You could see a huge thing coming on. Uh, here now a bit of a plug guys welcome to the savvy money show with me your host sean if you want to help support the channel don't forget to smash that lovely like button and don't forget to hit the bell no notification if you want to be reminded of when a video gets uploaded and why not smash the sexy subscribe button a lot sexier than me just ask the wife. 
and because I upload multiple times a day and while you're at it why not comment in the comment box down below I'm uh, also putting a load of free links in the description box why not check them out and uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform on which to trade your stocks and shares why not check out free trade trading with 212 and stake you get a free share worth up to 200 pounds or dollars uh, for signing up and depositing a small amount so apparently I went on Twitter and started a whole load of these problems on Twitter I'm not going to get into it I am just going to leave it there let you guys decide what you think about that now the last bad thing on the zinger his interview his body language terrible to tell the truth he looked very tired i'm hoping it, his body language didn't mean anything that he was just exhausted and if you think he's everything he's doing and possibly negotiating contracts with navistar uh romeo Lawnstar motors and getting funding as well while submitting forms to the SEC of no, no wonder he's tired but anyway I will include the interview in the description down below it isn't my link that's wrong the audio is terrible honestly this was this morning Workhorse is gaining momentum on earnings catalyst. They think the earnings are going to be good. I do not. I think the earnings are going to be bad because remember it's the last few months. Now, expect the earnings to be bad, but when you look through their earnings report, it comes up. What you've got to look for is production and production targets I told you what they claim their new production targets are going to be but they still have 1200 trucks backlog why 12 now people see that as the downside do you remember last week they only had a thousand truck backlog and they've been making trucks since then you know what that means it says to me that they've got more trucks ordered anyway seeking alpha as a thing saying work all should be holding in every investor's spec portfolio you know at least you will get at least 40,000 vehicles I spoke about this before and they think this is going to shoot up and he's saying that uh, once uh, it gets this contract which out for customers like Amazon FedEx UPS is already a customer so I don't know why he's put that in there he has a strong cash position I've already said her has three years burn rate now if you want any of these linked comment in the box below and i will add them but or you can just take a screenshot there is something else just for you guys i'm sure you have heard of robert kiyosaki the rich dad poor dad he has a channel and I'm not going to put it all in here because it's 43 minutes but I will also link it down in the description so you will have a chance to watch it the future of green clean energy and 
you I think you will find it interesting and don't forget to hit the like button and comment in the box below it really does help with the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't that's all for now see you in the next video stay safe stay savvy stay investing